for the invitation. Um, today, my, my topic will be about the decentralized finance and what are the opportunities ahead. Um, my profile, um, for most that, uh, that know me, I'm a, a rather early adopter of uh, blockchain. Right now, I'm the chairman uh, Asia for Big One Exchange. I'm also the digital uh, advisor, chief digital advisor uh, with, with Mongolia. Uh, I also hold other appointments like uh, chairman for eSports Association in Korea. Um, also a non-executive chairman for EG Association that is uh, driving social impact. You know, and all these things are very much uh, revolving around uh, uh, crypto, revolving around uh, DeFi. And I, I have always been a uh, strong voice, you know, in, in, in telling people, you know, what you can find within this, this uh, whole, whole DeFi market. You know, what are some of the key areas where, you know, you might find some good opportunities, you know. So I, I think right now, you know, th this is a fantastic time to be in DeFi, uh, driven by short and long-term drivers from the explosive growth of the NFT market, overtaking DeFi, which is, and then of course, there's a new breed of uh, play to earn games or game fi, you know, to rise, and also, you know, there's a metaverse as the next big thing. So there's a lot to un unpick, which is very exciting, you know, to, to a lot of people. And especially if you are new in this industry, you know, all these things seems to be really exciting for all of you. But let's start with some basics, you know, for those of you who are new to DeFi. So DeFi is also known as decentralized finance. Uh, the system allows people to create financial products or, or smart contracts per se that execute actions automatically on the blockchain without any <clears throat> bank, brokerage, exchange or corporation acting as the media person. At the end of uh, July 2021, the capital market for DeFi products was hovering around 80 billion. While that was down from its May peak of more than 89 billion, many believe the growth will continue in the coming year as DeFi products mature. Key to that maturity process is innovation DeFi, creating opportunities to profitability shape a decentralized future, you will sure to want to be a part of. And then if you look at the non-fungible tokens or, or commonly known as NFT, the NFT industry has exploded. It is really popular this year. It has uh, more than 2.5 billion in sales volume during the first half of 2021, and it has accelerated since. OpenSea, uh, the most popular NFT marketplace, saw more than 3 billion in sales volume during the month of August. This is, these are big numbers, really big numbers. So what's driving the demand for NFT? Well, the fact is that digital na native would rather own digital goods than the physical goods, which means that we are watching the digital digitalization of the collectible industry. These digital natives want to use NFT as a way to play games, transact with each other and recreate the collectible industry. Another perspective as outlined recently by popular game uh, or, or crypto uh, uh, podcaster Pong is that we are watching the new birth of a new type of status, 
this is this is what what he said. You know, each individual would normally drop fifty thousand to a million dollars to buy a car, a watch, maybe a house, a boat, etc. And is now realizing you can spend the money on a digital good, and in in flex, and flex it in front of uh, uh, people on on the internet. You know, so. Only so many friends can check out your house and, and be impressed, but millions of people a month see your Twitter avatar. These NFTs are a great example of where I would expect billions, if not trillions of dollars to be made in the coming years. As Pom say, um, just as every business had to figure out a, an internet strategy in 1990s, Every business is going to have a fig have to figure out their, their Bitcoin strategy. And every business is going to figure out their NFT strategy as well. You know, I, I did also jokingly say something about chief Bitcoin officer for, for businesses, you know. And then I was then interviewed by one of the largest uh, India-based uh, tech publication. Uh, a couple of months ago, you know, while while it seems like a joke, you know, in, in my perspective, you know, uh, chief Bitcoin office officer CBO, but I think you know, just like uh, Pom, you know, I I think there is a need, you know, to think about a better a, a better Bitcoin strategy for the company, and also keeping the company ahead. Of, of your competitors by getting yourself into the digital space. And, and that that is <clears throat> and that is things that that we should really look at, you know. Of course, you know, we 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 are also looking at many different things, you know. Um, for example, like a newly publicly traded uh, uh, fund um, uh, meta, you know, now you can you can actually get exposure to metaverse play that are traded publicly. You know, these are things that are really happening in space. Looking at metaverse again, you know, we, we, we are just a few, maybe a few weeks ago, you know, when, when uh, Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook CEO said, you know, within the next five years, you know, Facebook would be a metaverse company. You know, while, while Microsoft CEO, you know, say that they are investing in the enterprise metaverse, Simply put, uh, whoever can integrate NFTs and payment with Metaverse may well lead the biggest change in the online culture and economy since the birth of the internet in the 1990s. A view supported you know, by, by uh, the head of, uh, of Roblox uh, Corporation. You know, Roblox, I think it's about 50 billion worth right now. You know, he sees the, the emergence of a metaverse as a profound a shift and also an intervention of internet and the World Wide Web. Well, Roblox is and has been, you know, the, the leader in, in, this, uh, in this space, in the, in the game space especially. In a close fit with the vision of an open metaverse, play to earn crypto games are built on the fundamental need for a place that is available for everyone and owned by no one in particular. GameFi, you know, gaming and DeFi, a combination, right, came about. It is it is it is ref, it is referred to the intersection between blockchain based games and decentralized financial instruments in all their you know in all the different terms like uh, what you farming uh, lending you know staking and so forth this form another another uh, another ecosystem you know so. Crypto has been looking for a mass market use case, to be really honest about this. Um, and gaming sector is, is, is definitely 
a very good entry for, point for people who have been hyping for a long time, who have been trying for a long time. It is the first area of crypto where average Joe without understanding too much of uh, crypto or blockchain can participate. And this is a great entry point for, for, for crypto, to be real honest. And the rise of uh, GameFi associated tokens has captured the attention of wider crypto market, you know, especially in the longer term trend of NFTs and metaverse. You know, the, 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 the goal is to support developers and create GameFi projects by building decentralized uh, uh, content. You know, I, I have been looking at a lot of all these different, different news in the market and so forth, you know. Um, if you look, look at uh, the market, you know, other, other industry leader, you know, talk about NFT is going to be the next big thing that makes DeFi, NFT, uh, uh, you know, together, you know, GameFi is the one that connects everything together. Uh, maybe, maybe another striking example on how the rise of GameFi is driving the value of tokens in the early August for XL Infinity. Uh, well, they are a popular uh, uh, crypto gaming platform on Ethereum, which uh, rake in more than 220 million in revenue in 30 days. Uh, to early August, making it the top revenue generator among all DeFi protocol and blockchain, you know, Ethereum, Ethereum included, according to the data from uh, token uh, term, terminal, if I'm not wrong. So this, this has changed, you know, how people look at, um, how, how people look at DeFi, how people look at NFT, how people look at GameFi, for example, you know, not, not surprisingly to this uh, phenomenon, price growth, you know, it has caught a lot of new traders, you know, uh, and, and crypto market watches attention. Um, XL Infinity has been on an absolute uh, a tear recently. The play to earn platform has become the face of a new integration of crypto gaming that holds to unbelievable potential. Excel has surpassed 1 million daily active users and it's generating more revenue you know, than many, many other uh, protocols you know, or, or other, other major platforms. So this, this, this growth is really, really different. You know, one of the key problems associated with such a rapid growth in the DeFi uh, economy maybe in the, in the whole DeFi ecosystem is, is the increasing uh, transaction fee, particularly the uh, rapid increasing Ethereum gas fees. To address this issue, many projects in the crypto space are starting to offer cross-chain functionality. One of the most successful innovators in the space has been Polkadot. The price of a Polkadot governed Governance, uh, governance uh, coin has raised over to $30 from under $10 in August. This put DOT's market cap to be about 30 billion or so, about the size of Ethereum a year ago. Another thing, or another coin that is worth uh, noting is uh, a Solana, recently also listed on our Big One exchange as. You know, they are, they are another Ethereum killer with lightning fast transaction at a fraction of a price. The rapid increase in value is largely a result of crypto gaming and successful NFT launches. You know, amid huge NFT sales resulted in, in a bull rally, you know, for SOL, and its price has taken which trading at $1.6, $1.60 during the start of January, and then smashing an all-time high at $194.82 on 7 September. So lo look at what, what we have seen so far. You know, the opportunity has been very obvious, you know, for, for all of us, you know, those that are in the space right now, uh, uh, 
you know, in the in the DeFi space, and also for new uh, institutional investors, you know, who are looking at new chances to get into the space, you know, GameFi, uh, decentralized finance, uh, uh, as as a whole, you know, act as a very good bridge and entry point for all these serious investors to get in. Um, let, let me conclude this, uh, this, this whole speech about the opportunities uh, uh, for everybody. You know, I think opportunities are, are everywhere, you know, for the, for the crypto space. Many times it comes really fast and you might not be able to catch that. This is very normal. So all you need to do, you know, is to get yourself in the space, understand the space a bit more, and then spotting the new trend coming on board will be a lot easier and a lot faster, you know, than, than just, um, uh, uh, you know, than just looking at news, you know, or, or depending on another uh, 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 a young guy or another advisor of you, of yours, right? You as a business owner or as the leader of your company who is looking at innovation, you know, who is looking at driving new opportunities for your company, you and yourself got to be in the space. If not, when people tell you about game five, you will say, what, what is that? You know, when people tell you about staking, you know, you didn't know the mechanism behind it, right? So you have to be in the space to understand what it is. And again, you know, I always try to also warn everybody that, you know, you need to do your own research do your own research before you get yourself into any form of uh, crypto investments or crypto buys and so forth, you know, because you have to be responsible for the things that you have done, for the investment that you have made for yourself and for the company. So please, you know, talk to the right people, you know, get the right trend and the doors to new opportunity will just be really, really around the corner. So with that, I'm going to end my speech. And thank you very much for the invitation. And if you have anything, you know, if you need to reach out to me, you could reach out to me via my social media. Uh, or you could uh, reach out to my Big Ones team. And, 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 uh, and we, we could definitely share with you a lot of uh, new opportunities and new uh, insights. So thank you again. Thank you so much.